I sip the Dom P watching Gandhi till I'm charged and writing in my book of rhymes all the words past the margin the whole of mic I'm throbbing mechanical movement understandable smooth shit the murder is smooth with the thief thing plenty at night they won't act right the fiend of hip hop has got me stuck like a crack pipe The challenge when making a video about who's the greatest rapper lies in the difficulty of measuring it. Since it's a strictly opinion-based topic, there's no predefined measurements we can take into consideration, so we all have to agree to disagree. But here's my take on it. There are certain factors we can look at. Do we discuss the longevity of a rapper, the commercial success, or how well we can relate to the artist? We need to go deeper than that and find the very soul of rap. Rapping is a way of telling a story by captivating its listeners with emotions and rhymes through a series of poetically composed words. Nas utilizes storytelling with wordplay and emotions like few others. He presents metaphorical scenarios in a way that paints a clear illustration through words. Both Tupac and Nas might be considered poets, but of different natures. Tupac moved fans on a level like no other rapper because of his unique versatility throughout his work, which is why he's considered one of the best. Like Tupac, Nas also has the advantage of versatility, which is an overlooked component in rap. While many rappers always sounds the same in every song, same flow, same voice, same lyrics, and same emotions. Nas evoked hundreds of different emotions through his body of work on an equally good level like Tupac. In the song Rewind, Nas tells a story which ends at the beginning and starts in the end. One of Nas's many ingenious concept songs. Whether it's about narrating childbirth through the eyes of a fetus in the song Fetus, or rapping from the perspective of a prison cell, the master of concept songs will pull it off. He placed me on his waist the moment I've been waiting. My creation was for blacks to kill blacks. It's gas like me that accidentally go off, making niggas' memories. But this time is done intentionally. He walked me outside, saw this cap, caught me back, said, Remember me? He pulled the trigger, but I held on. It felt wrong. No one niggas is waiting in hell for him. He squeezed harder. I didn't budge, sick of the in the song I Gave You Power, Nas raps about gun violence, which wasn't exactly a groundbreaking topic during its release in 1996. But with Nas's smooth flow and his many uses of descriptive metaphors, he brilliantly enthralls the listeners by narrating the story through the perspective of a gun. But the song goes beyond social commentary and the personification of a gun. He also relates the life of a gun to his own life, which makes this song one of the most underrated songs in the history of rap. While many of the newer rappers of today get unwarranted hatred towards them, they simply cannot master all of the key factors which makes rap into what it is. It's not enough to have good rhymes. Rapping goes beyond that. And Nas is one of few living rappers today who can master all of the important components we find in the very essence of rap. Through his honest and raw look at the street life in his critically acclaimed album Illmatic, he balances desperation and hope, which perfectly reflects his place in the world when the album was released. 18 years later, Nas proves to us that he still got that magic touch by releasing his 11th studio album, Life is Good, which features themes of adulthood and personal matters and reflections of the past, which shows how far he's come in life. There's not many rappers where we can trace their personal growth just by listening to their albums. Nas has given us two decades worth of material and by God, I hope he makes it three.